Hey everyone, Tamias here. Um, wanted to put out another video regarding a party optimization. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests and questions regarding, you know, how do you optimize your party? Uh, what can I do for your story progression? Um, well, first of all, just to be clear, you don't actually have to five star or sorry, three star everything. Um, you don't have to worry about that initially. Just make sure that you progress as far as you can, and later on, as your units get stronger, you can always go back and clear everything again. Um, so one of the biggest issues that I do see with people asking me, you know, what party I should use, which unit I should use, is actually um, uh, they don't have a proper tank. So most of you probably use Peko as your tank, and Peko is actually very weak. Um, so initially, as a one-star unit, Peko is not very adequate at tanking. So it's going to be difficult for her to uh, help you progress through the story without um, having some uh, huge boosts in terms of support or having a healer like Maho to keep her uh, topped up. So don't worry if you can't clear some of the, um, the levels because you don't have a proper tank. Another mistake, common mistake I see is you, uh, people don't put their tanks in the front position. So positioning in this game is really key and some uh, tanks are unfortunately not positioned to be at the front. Let's take uh, Shizune for example. If I put Makoto, uh, Makoto you can see actually is in front of Shizune, which means that if I go into the map right now, Makoto will be my tank, uh, despite the fact that Shizune is a frontline uh, front tank. Um, so this defeats the purpose of having her as the main tank, and Makoto is just going to die. So during my uh, runs, I actually don't use Makoto at all, and this is what I run. Um, you can see here Shizune is acting as the main tank. Uh, Yukari, the one star, is really good as a support. She can heal as well, a single target and TP boost. Um, Kokoro is quite good as a support with the uh, speed um, speed buff uh, and a self heal. And of course, oh got the crit archer or the crit bow user, I forgot her name, but um, she does decent damage. So this can be replaced by any uh, damage deal dealers you have. Uh, and then Yui, she's not so great. So AOE healers like Yui and Chika, Chika slightly better at the moment, uh, won't really shine until uh, equipment level R7. And that's when their AOE starts to really um, heal a lot. But initially during your story clears, you do still do need some healers and I don't have a Maho, so Yui will have to do. So getting the right team composition is very important. Um, you have one or two tanks, so Yukari in this case is a sub-tank, and then you make sure you have some supporters that can keep the tanks alive. Uh, some people like to overload on the DPS, maybe three DPS. Um, I like to play a bit safe uh, to make sure that uh, you know one DPS is enough and the rest is just to keep the, um, the team alive. So you can see here, if I begin battle right now, um, I actually will not be able to clear this on auto. So one of the things that uh, people don't or tend to forget is that if you play the game on auto, uh, the computer is just going to use the skill when it's uh, ready. So they're not going to time it, uh, a lot of it will go to waste. Um, so we can see here that, uh, I'll just let this game run, um, there's some overhealing going on. Um, the damage uh, UBs, Union Burst, usually not that big of a deal. Uh, but the heals, uh, they really sometimes overheal you uh, and you waste a lot of that uh, potential. Um, so when I clear this, um, I haven't been pushing story aggressively just because I've been writing a few guides. But uh, when I was doing this, um, I don't think I cleared it on auto. Uh, but you'll see how uh, a few tips and tricks I can share um, to really help you clear this uh, if you do this manually. Uh, so we can see it right here, Kokoro is very low. She might die before she gets the skill off. Uh, and she self heals. I'm, I might actually still clear this on auto. Um, just because I upgraded some of my units. We'll see. If not, I can show you uh, what the difference. Yeah, I, I think I'm through. Um, the difference uh, manual would make. Yeah. So we're through here. And I'll quickly show you uh, what happens in the manual setting and some of the tips and tricks you can do. So if I restart this. So here, uh, if I turn off auto, I can still run it at uh, two times speed. Um, essentially, I just want to make sure that I don't overheal. So right now Kokoro is very low, so I want to top her up and I can use she's nice skill to do some damage, top everyone off with the heal. 
because uh, after you pass through every stage you actually get um, uh, some health as well as TP back so you want to make sure not everyone's super topped off uh, and here uh, what uh, I recommend people do is um, when you're on the last mob don't use any TP on the last mob this way you can save up and you'll have a full TP bar uh, going forward into the uh, the wave 3 which is usually the hardest and you can see here I don't use Yukari's um, Union Burst just because of the fact that um, Yukari has a skill that charges uh, TP so if I keep her TP full then she'll, char uh, she'll be charging someone else uh, which means they get their ultimate faster. So not too big of a difference here in this case because wave 3 is a single target but you'll really see the difference um, once you, uh, you're hitting a, uh, a stage where you know it's multiple targets left um, so you really want to not uh, miss out on the maximum damage and heal potential um, of your, uh, your team. Another thing is, so you can see here that the bond level has leveled up between several characters um, as well as um, uh, my damage dealer, my tanks, and Yukari. Um, the bond level actually gives you status boosts. So it's not just you can see the story of those, uh, those units, they actually give uh, stat upgrades as well. So I'll just click on the story. And if you click on click character, um, you can revisit them anytime, but let's say I look at Shizuru's um, You can see that um, Episode 1 it's gonna give you some gems and you can skip this but uh, as the um, Bond level goes up um, Episode 2 it'll actually give you some stats. So every stat counts in this game So after I leveled her up, you can see that her physical defense uh, increased by 3 and she also leveled up to bond level 3 so let's watch episode 3 and then she'll also get another physical defense boost so make sure that um, you get those stat boost uh, bonuses if you haven't already um, another aspect uh, is obviously the equipments you want to make sure that um, they're equipped and optimized so which means that you know your skills are leveled up your level is the level of your character cap um, as well as just farming some equipment uh, to make sure they are equipped. So for here, for example, I didn't have this equipped. Uh, so I'm just making sure they're equipped with everything that is farmable or obtainable at this moment. And lastly, um, it's not uh, too big of a deal, but later on you will face units that are weak to magic or weak to physical only, or um, they are going to have a great resistance against the other typing. So in um, the damage typing in terms of uh, the purple numbers that you see sometimes from your healers and mages those are magic damage and for the uh, yellow numbers those are physical so you want you might want to mix and match later on to uh, capitalize your damage uh, and also making sure that uh, there are units um, that specifically target your position 3 so Kokoro is a very good position 3 unit because uh, if you slaw her in position 3 uh, and position 3 means that she's third on the team um, it'll mean that um, her UB, which can self-heal, uh, will negate a lot of the, uh, the damage that's targeted at your position 3. Otherwise, if I, let's say I don't have Kokoro and I have someone like Aoi, then um, uh, my DPS would just die because she has no self-heals. So yeah, that's all the, uh, the tips for beginners to help uh, progress with your um, um, story progression. And make sure that um, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer.